celebrating International Guide Dog Day. Citrus TV reporter Annalise Fiamante spoke with members of a local nonprofit to see how these dogs could impact lives. Thanks, Nicole. Guiding Eyes is an organization that raises and trains guide dogs. Here is a look into just some of the work that they do. Guiding Eyes for the Blind is a nonprofit organization that works to provide guide dogs to the visually impaired completely free of charge. So puppy raising is all about incorporating um, the Guiding Eyes puppy into your day-to-day -day life, your day-to-day -day routine. Guide dogs cannot be properly trained without dedicated volunteers. These trainers must raise dogs to feel comfortable and confident, like Mary Onk. As puppy raisers, we sort of have three main jobs. One is teaching them basic obedience, another is teaching them good house manners, and then the third is socialization. Training typically lasts 14 to 18 months. Then the puppies move on for further training, which can be difficult for volunteer raisers to get used to. It's like sending a kid off to college. <laughs> they reach a point where they really have so much more that they can do. In fact, colleges have proven to be great training areas for dogs, and Syracuse University is one of many universities that are helping transform the way guide dog training works. It's also good for the universities because, you know, having guide dogs in training on campus raises awareness. And when these puppies learn how to guide properly, visually impaired individuals can live freer lives. Stephen Casito, an SU professor, is a guide dog user and advocate for the organization. When I was 38, I decided to get my first guide dog. My life was transformed by getting that guide dog. Formerly, I didn't feel comfortable going to, you know, unfamiliar places. Regional puppy instructor Michaelia Chambliss says this is why guide dogs are so important. Um, because the dogs can be their eyes for them. If you would like to get involved in guide dog service, you can join the service dogs at Syracuse Club or visit www.guidingeyes.org. Walker and Nicole, back to you.